And we want to pause this conversation really quickly and head over to Yahoo Finance's Pross Subramanian, who's standing by with earnings results from Tesla. Pross, break these down for us. Yeah, Emily, stock low over here. I'm going to go through some of these numbers here. A beat on both the top and bottom line. Revenue coming in at $17.7 billion, topping estimates $16.64 billion. That's a record right there. Q4 adjusted EPS, 254, topping estimates 237. Uh, that, that highly watched gap net income, Emily, that you were talking about before, a record 2.3 billion. Third time it's past 1 billion uh, in net income, gap net income for the quarter. Uh, so another big beat there. Automotive gross margin above 30.6%, again, beating estimates. And they have 17.6 billion cash on hand and cash and, and cash equivalents. Um, no change to deliveries. Uh, they also see capacity and volume staying at 50% uh, compound annual growth rate. That's what that's they've been saying for quite a few quarters now. We also don't see a change in annual capacity at the at the three plants. California, Fremont factory still at 600,000. Shanghai at 450,000. Um, I want to note one thing in their product outlook. Uh, at the end of their shareholder deck, they mentioned this could be knocking the stock a little bit. The pace of production ramps in Austin and Berlin will be influenced by the successful introduction of many new products and manufacturing technologies in new locations, ongoing supply chain related challenges, regional permitting. Uh, we are making progress on the industrialization of Cybertruck, which is currently planned for Austin production subsequent to Model Y. So we don't know if that's going to be end of this year or even possibly the beginning of 2023. Uh, on the call, Elon Musk will, will return to the call after, after a few quarters off. He's going to talk about a product roadmap, so maybe we'll get an update on that. In addition to any new news on that Cybertruck date, um, we're also hoping to hear about, about uh, FSD and investigations with NHTSA, uh, anything new on that front. And also, lastly, many investors and also customers are asking about customer service improvements. Are they going to invest in those areas where, the, where you know, Tesla has sold, sold so many trucks and cars, sorry, uh, SUVs and cars over the past year, people are having problems servicing them. So that's another issue that's, that's a, a paramount concern on the call later today.